This is one of David Hockney's most famous paintings. It's called Mulholland Drive. It's a landscape painting. And you can see that there's a windy road going up here and another windy road going along here. It's also got lots of different shapes and patterns on it and lines. This is a close-up of part of that picture and you can see some of those lines and patterns more clearly on here. So if we look at this section, we can see that we've got wavy lines that go like this. On this section, we've got some parallel lines going in that direction and in this direction. We've also got some lines that go like this here and some like scratchy lines that are similar but slightly different to those ones there. This is another painting by David Hockney. This one's called Nichols Canyon. Again, it's got another winding road going all the way to the top. There's not very much sky on here. And there's not very much sky. In fact, I don't think there's any sky on the Mulholland Drive painting. There's a little bit of sky at the top here. And on this one, we've got some of those same shapes. We've got some of these wavy lines here. But we've also got some lines like these ones, straight lines that go like that. And lines that look like leaves, like vegetation growing here. Some big tree lines that go there. And as I said before, just a little bit of sky. So this is another one. This shows the countryside, as you can see, with the ploughed fields going backwards. Just a tiny bit of sky on this one. But again, some interesting lines. Look, look how those lines, it starts like a triangle, like that. And then it goes like this. Going upwards, and then some straight parallel lines there. And I have another David Hockney painting here. I like these curved lines that are going around there and this one again has got a windy road coming down and hardly any sky at the top. So we've got some curved lines going like this. This is one of my favourite David Hockney paintings. This one's called Garabah Hill. It looks like an English countryside. You can see all the different fields here and a little bit of sky at the top there. But can you see how it's all divided up into different sections, lots of different sections? And there's some of those, some little lines that go like this here, like little circles or dots. So that's a different way to do it. And another one here which has got these curved lines here. We've looked at ones like this before and another windy road going along and just a little bit of sky. So we're going to try and create our own painting that's in the style of David Hockner. So we're going to start by dividing our page up into different sections. So you might decide that you want to. We didn't look at this one, did we? This one's really interesting. I really like this one. And it's got, again, lots and lots of little dots here and some lines that go outwards like that and some curved lines here that go like that and a windy road that goes all the way up to the top and this one's got quite a bit of sky on here. So you need to decide for your picture if you want to have some sky and if we're going to look at this one, the line at the top is like a bumpy line isn't it so I think I'm going to do like a bumpy line this is a horizon line so below this line is the land and above this line is the sky and then I'm going to put a windy road in my picture and can you see at the bottom the road looks wider and then as it goes up to the top it gets narrower and narrower so I'm going to start with a windy road coming down 
making a curved line and as it starts here it's quite narrow and as it comes down it gets a bit wider and a bit wider and a bit wider and as it gets to the bottom it's the widest it's going to be and then we're going to divide this space up into sections so so it looks like fields and section there section here and as the sections come nearer to the bottom they should be slightly bigger so smaller at the top and bigger at the bottom so this is my roadway and I'm going to make it look like a road by putting a white sort of line down it or a line down the middle of it so it would start here I'm going to follow the curve that I made and go up so that's my road and this is my sky and up at the skyline I might do some trees these trees look a bit like lollipop trees and then these sections I'm going to put lines in I'm going to do that using oil pastels and different colours because look he's got loads of different colours here he's got yellow, he's got greens, he's got blues he's got reds um, on some of these other ones he's got even more colours like some nice oranges there some pinks so it really doesn't matter what colours you use you can use colours that you really like but we're going to do some of these lines that we've been talking about in each section so I'm going to start with green and I liked um, these sort of curvy lines here so I'm going to start with this field here and I'm going to do some curved lines I'm actually going to follow the curve of the road to start with and then spread out a little bit to do more in this section I'm going to do some dots like these dots so lots of dots I'm going to carry on, I'm going to put you on fast forward and I'm going to carry on putting more lines and patterns into the spaces. Now that all my sections are filled with lines and patterns, I'm going to use watercolour paint to add more colour to it. I'm going to use these watercolour paints, I'm going to start with the sky. So remember when you use these watercolour paints you need to add quite a bit of water to them to make them work. I'm going to put a little bit of water in here and then I'm going to make sure that I put my brush into the paint at least 10 times to make sure that I get a good lot of colour on my brush and then I'm going to paint the sky. Sky is the only place that doesn't have any oil pastel on it. Look at David Hockney's sky. He's got some bits of white in there where the clouds are. So if you'd have wanted to, you could have used some little bits of white oil pastel. But just do that now really quick so it looks a bit like clouds and maybe a bit more there. And then as I paint over, the oil pastel resists the paint. It's not very effective but it's a try. You can do yours better than this, you're not in such a rush as me. So that's my sky and then I'm going to fill in the colours and what I'm going to try and do is to put colours that look good with the colours that I've got on here. So like David Hockney he's got green lines and he's put pink over the top on some of them he's got like brown lines and he's put brown over the top and some of them he's got green lines and he's put green over the top so it really doesn't matter what you decide to do on this one he's got pink lines with yellow over the top so I think I might go for I want this field to look really green so I'm going to use a green on here so I'm going to put more water on here get lots and lots of paint on my brush and then fill in this section and can you see how because I press quite hard with the oil pastel it resists the paint that's going on it so you the pattern comes through and the lines come through really clearly okay on this one I'm going to paint it pink one, two three four five six seven eight nine ten 
and you can still see the red oil pastel coming through. Okay, I'm going to put you on fast forward now until I finish this. Now that I've filled all my spaces with different colours, my landscapes look really bright and colourful. So the only thing I've got left to do is the roadway. I think I'm going to do that using the black, but just doing it quite watery so it looks a bit grey. You don't have to do your roadway black, you can do it any colour you want it to be. But you can make your paint colour more watery but just obviously by adding a bit more water it spreads through so there's my David Hockney inspired patterned landscape picture